I want to ask you about, uh, did you meet Boosie here in Dallas? Because he used to come to Dallas a lot. I met Boosie in Kansas. You met him in Kansas. He, you brought him to Kansas. My uh, manager did. Your manager time. did, okay. He booked oh. him for Kansas City and Wichita. That's why we do. We'll book you in Kansas City, we'll book you in Wichita. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I want to ask you about, uh, did you meet Boosie here in Dallas? Because he used to come to Dallas a lot. I met Boosie in Kansas. You met him in Kansas. He, you brought him to Kansas. My uh, manager did. Your manager time. did, okay. He booked oh. him for Kansas City and Wichita. That's why we do. We we'll book you in Kansas City, we we'll book you in Wichita. Mm. If I didn't get through. Through to Boosie in Kansas City. Got him in Wichita. <laughs> I got him in Wichita. Got him in Wichita. I got two chances to talk to you. Boosie came to Kansas right when he got out of prison. My dog came out right when he got out of prison. Boosie's one of my favorite rappers. I said, I got to get him on this song. I didn't get the song until Nebraska. I got the song in Omaha, Nebraska. My, my dog, we won 10 bands at the casino. And he gave it to me. That's the dope part. I heard you say that on another interview. And the crazy part is, is Boosie's so fired up and wild. That's it, me and him on that picture there. Like he, when he first came on, I, I, we met him. Mm -hmm. it, he was doing Jewel House, his clothing brand. Mm -hmm. And and I, I'm a I'm a clothes dude. I've been doing this a long time, a lot of stores. And I was like, man, I'm going to mess with this Jewel House. But he dealt with this white boy named Mike Wagman. And I didn't like Mike Wagman. We know each other in this clothes thing. I've been had these, I know these people. And I was like, Boosie, man, I'm like, man, I'm going to rock with you, man. I said, but I'm, I'm with a cool, you know, it's like Ralph, all these black, my black brothers, we all over there. Yeah. And he was like, I'm going to be bigger than this. I'm going to be bigger than it, cool. I'm going to be bigger than that. I said, in my mind, I was like, not nah, with that white boy. Like, Mike Wagman is not the one. He used to be good with Rock, Nate, rock, rock Aware. He was good during that. To he made a lot of people a lot of money. But when it came down to uh, these new waves, the new wa the new stuff, I just didn't see it. It just the time changed with these clothes so much. I'm well, like, just like everything else. Yeah, time changes. Let's be in business time like changed. this. It and changes. it also comes a come back come around. around again. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you something. You something else with? I ain't gonna go into the fact of them all the way you bring them songs back, man. You a beast. <laughs> you a dog, nigga. Yeah. And you good? What? Yeah, I love doing that. Nigga, when he bring them old songs back. Man, I'd be happy as hell. That's that's called. I, I done heard them too, nigga. Empire get on my ass about that. They don't. What they don't like you doing it? They, it's they, we be fighting for clearance. You gotta get clearance. We be fighting for clearance, and I be so I be so pissed. I be like, bro, if they just hear just four of these records. You see what they doing with this? Uh, the, the I thing, oh, I can't wait. I'm gonna have you blow that one on here. I want, I want <laughs> a lot of these songs to come back because you know R and B has changed. I'm an R and B person. I love R and B, but it's like R and B is like almost non-existent. It's like this new wave of singing that has changed, but they're not calling it R and B. They're calling you know. So I got a I got a theory with R and B. Why it's suffering a little bit? Why? All the OGs of rap mm -hmm. are still rapping. Yeah. All the OGs of R and B are trying to fit in with new R and B. Yeah. Think if Usher did drop the old style Usher record. Think if Tank dropped the old style Tank record. They're going away from what? Their original fans. You got a, millions of fans over here that made you platinum. But you want to go over here to make these records. I agree with that, Ken. I, I see where you're coming from. If but they're Jamie, trying to stay relevant. It, they're trying to get a newer crowd. That's what they're trying to do. I know we don't like who we, we don't like we don't like this name, but R. Kelly stayed relevant, staying in his style. And but he he Who went, don't like the name? A lot of people don't like it. Well, they I'm don't like what he did, but they like can't he deny his but, talent. But I'm, I'm stating that. Let's go. I'm, I'm, let's go, go. Yeah, go. Keep on going. I'm stating huh? like if Avant came out right now and gave you Avant and mm -hmm. didn't give you two chains, you know what I'm saying? Why everything got to be so fast? The only people that can do slow R&B is women. Mm. And they're keeping it genuine the same. But yeah. men got to be singing fast or they ain't going to get played. No, nah, that's real. That's real. I'm I, I'm just telling you, though. Know, and I'm fighting the uphill I, battle. Keep I it slow. Love, yeah, yeah, what you I love doing? Slow. I love it. If a nigga can't relate to that like R&B, they crazy. Nigga, I can fix all that the way I need it to be. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's too many people trying to make something. Something can change and be new and still good. You know, I don't have to have it just like it was, to be honest with you. I'm cool with it as long as what, it comes. What I do is I mix it, the old sound, with new lingo and faster talk. That's right. But I still keep my beat slow. I still, yeah. I still like that. I still like the groove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you're young, and I love that. Yeah, I love the groove. No, you. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.